Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we are going to work on the second Halloween special doll. Two weeks ago I made a Winifred Sanderson doll from the Hocus Pocus movie. And this time I want to make an Ouija board witch. I have this project in my head already for a very long time, really for a couple of years. And today it's finally time to start working on this doll. And I want to make a doll that would be very beautiful, very dark at the same time. And she's supposed to be a witch who would run all Ouija boards in the world. She's the witch who would connect like people who are using Ouija boards with the spirits they want to talk to. So I'm actually really excited about this project. So let's keep this intro very short today and start working. Please guys, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the next week Friday is gonna be my last Halloween special project and it's gonna be really very, very, very special <laughs> Halloween special. So please hit the bell button to get notified about that upload. And of course, guys, please Please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. It takes a second for you, it's absolutely free, but it's a really huge help for my channel. So, this being said, let's start working, let's dive into this very exciting Ouija Witch project. So, this is the doll I'm going to use today, because first of all I really love her long nails, and also her face is really pretty, I think she will become a beautiful Ouija Witch. So, now let's undress her, cut her hair off, warm up the head with the hair dryer to make it easily detachable, and do the rest of the steps that will help me to turn this doll into a clean canvas. this, I'm sealing her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it completely matte. And after this I can start working on her skin tone. And actually this time I really want to get rid of her pink skin tone, because I want her to look more kind of muddy, more yellow, more brown, to match the dark brown color of an Ouija board. You know, like some old stained cardboard. So I have first applied a layer of white soft pastels and then green soft pastels are coming on top of it because I just kind of find it easier to blend these contrast colors together when you're doing it on top of white pastels, otherwise it might come out a little bit patchy. Thank you. 
So this is where I'm going to stop working on her skin tone for now and I can actually start working on her face using watercolor pencils. And I want to make this doll all in brown color, so we're going for brown eyes and dark brown lipstick today. And then on her forehead I want to draw some sort of an alchemical symbol to make her look more witchy and more interesting, more mysterious. Okay, now we still need to repeat the color conversion trick on her body as well. So first of all I'm going to sand the plastic to make it matte, then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will apply all these multiple layers of soft pastels again. Well guys, this step of the makeover is finished and now I want to start working on her outfit and accessories and I can tell it's gonna be really exciting today. Well, at least I am excited, I hope you're gonna enjoy it as well. And first of all I'm going to start in Procreate, designing my own Ouija skirt. I've downloaded an Ouija font online and now I'm going to play with letters and numbers and words and see where I will end up. So it's supposed to look like Ouija board but at the same time I want to make it in a circle to be able to make a skirt out of it later. Okay, this is what I've created. It looks pretty good to me. I'm really happy with the layout of the skirt. So then I have printed out the mirrored picture on the image transferring paper and now we're going to glue it to the fabric using a hot iron. I had to cut the image in four because it was just way too big but I don't think it will be a problem. We can perfectly connect these pieces together.
And this is what I've made, guys. Check it out. I don't know, it looks so good. You can probably summon someone for real using this card as an Ouija board. But this is not what we're going to do in this video, but instead I'm going to finish up this card and then we'll move on to making a corset for our doll. Corset I'm going to make out of warbler thermoplastic and this is actually super easy. I'm going to warm it up with a hair dryer, then I will wrap it around the doll's body and then when the plastic cools down it becomes hard again, I can cut all the edges and make holes on the back and just shape it as a corset. So this is it, it was very easy as I told you, but right now I'm going to paint it as a Noija board and this will be more exciting because I will have to freehand lots of tiny elements, but guys, I will really try to do my best here. <laughs>
you know, it was actually very exciting. I expected it to be more challenging, but it was not difficult at all and it was rather pure joy. So here you can see the finished outfit and I think it already looks so, so, so cool. I really love every single piece of it so far. But we are not done yet for today and the next I want to make a stuff that would look like a Nuija planchette, like the plan... how you pronounce it? Planchette, pl planchette, pl so like this moving thing. And I'm going to start actually with printing two mini details using my 3D printer and there comes out a new 8k model of 3d printer very soon of the same brand and I think I might get one because it has become an unmissable machine for me and it's definitely a great investment so I'm really thinking about upgrading a little bit my 3d department of my studio So here are these things, they're super cute, super tiny, and now I'm going to connect them together using epoxy resin. Then I'm going to make a hole on the bottom of it and I will install a wooden stick there and I'm going to fix it also with the same epoxy resin. This is how the finished construction looks so far, it's super cute, very strong, so now we can paint it with acrylics. Okay guys, this is it. This is the finished stuff. I think it will look great together with the skirt and with the corset. But we are not done yet. Wait, <laughs> now I still want to make a witch hat to complete the look. But first of all, I'm actually going to attach her hair because then I will be able to see better if the hat fits properly because this hair, they can make the head a little bit bigger. So, and I want to give her this super special and extra soft alpaca hair. I used the part of it for my Lady Dimitrescu doll. And now I think my Ouija witch would also look amazing with this silky long dark hair. So let's grab tacky glue and let's glue all this hair to the doll's head. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is where I've ended up with her hair and you know guys I will not even do anything else to it because it looks already so perfect, very silky, super natural looking and also very pretty and very witchy. So her hair is absolutely perfect. So now I still can attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. I also want to paint her nails black and after this I will make a witch hat for her out of black warbler thermoplastic. Hey guys, this is the hat, it looks very witchy and super cute, so this part of the project is also finished. Off camera I have added a couple of chains to her neck and to her wrists, it makes the look more finished. You know, I didn't really have any special design for her shoes, because the shoes will be covered with her skirt anyway, and no one will never see the shoes again. So I've decided to complete the look with this pair of black boots. They look very neutral and very normal, and they will go together with this style. So, and right now, I think I have finally finished all the elements of this project, and it means that we can take a look at the end result pictures. So here is my finish to Ijevich, and you know guys, I'm totally obsessed with her. I don't know, she looks so special and also in some ways super seductive for some reason. Her face, her hair, the outfit, it all works really well together, making her look very beautiful, but quite dark at the same time. The corset and the skirt look beautiful, I'm really proud of this costume, I don't know, one day I will maybe become as good as my mom in making doll dresses. But anyway guys, a little spoiler, I've already received the outfit for my last Halloween special from my mom. And this is just the next level, really. Another level, my mom leveled up again in dressmaking, so prepare yourself to see the next week Friday. I can guarantee you're gonna love it. But anyway, this outfit today is also very pretty and I'm very proud I've made it myself. And also, you know, I really enjoyed working on the Ouija pattern on the skirt and on her corset. And you know, I also especially like her face today. She's very beautiful, she's very seductive, and she's also potentially very dangerous. So better watch out and don't play with Ouija boards. So guys, and what do you think about this project? I'm like always super curious to hear your thoughts about it. And this doll is now available for sale on eBay. So if this is something for you, you can find the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, again, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you already very soon next week, Friday, for my last Halloween special. And it's gonna be something. I promise you, it's going to be a very, very special Halloween special. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.